Hi guys. I just wanted to come on here today and tell you something important. I went to Dollar Tree. <laughs> okay, that's not important. That's not really important at all. What's important is I wanted to thank everybody for being on my channel. Uh, I've got a few new subscribers. I want to welcome y'all all. I hope you like what you see. And uh, I'm sure you will or you won't stay. So I hope I see you again after today. Um, for my old subscribers, thank you very much for staying, sticking around with me all this time. I know it hadn't been that much time, but it seems like a long time to me. And um, I just wanted to tell y'all that I went to a new uh, doctor today. Well, he's a physical therapist. And I had a procedure done on my back called dry needling. And if you want to know more about what that is, you can Google it. And it, it did an amazing thing for me. One treatment out of 18 that have been prescribed to me. And I feel like a million bucks. I had what he calls um, knots in my lower back. Uh, from fluid buildup, from, uh, I don't know, muscle spasms. And it's just like having a knot in your neck or whatever, you know, that you can rub out with, you know, deep massaging. But you can't do that inside your back. And that's what these needles do, is they go in and they do something to these muscles that causes them to release and so for about five years I've been dealing with lower back pain and it could have been alleviated by dry needling and who knew right so I think that I may just get lucky and have no back pain then if I just can get my knees fixed I'll be good to go and I'll be shopping more than a few minutes at a time again. But in the meantime, here's my Dollar Tree haul. It's small, but it's still a Dollar Tree haul. The first thing I want to show you is this um, dish drying mat. These things are wonderful if you've never used one. I have been using them for years. I have a wrought iron draining rack dish drainer, whatever you want to call it, that is beautiful, but you can't just put dishes in it on the counter. So I've been buying these things since they were, you know, $10 a piece. Now you can get one at the Dollar Tree, same as I've always bought, but now they're $1. This is what they look like. They've got something inside them that causes them to absorb an extreme amount of water and um, you just put them under the rack and you're good to go. And so if you've never tried one of these, you need to get you one. They have them in all the colors that they have, baskets and bins and all the colors. The pink, the green, the blue, you know, all those colors. They have those mats in. So, and I wish I could get a pink one, but darn it, my kitchen is not pink. So... Next thing I got to show you is, let's see, we'll go with the food next. All I have are these. I have seen a few people talk about these. Uh, Lisa from Lisa's Halls, she buys lots of these. I'm not telling on you. If nobody else knows, then, you know, they won't know how many of these you buy. But let's just say, every time I see her do a haul, there's at least two of these in her basket, okay? Okay, I didn't say that out loud. Uh, we won't tell anybody else. But these are vanilla. I've had the chocolate before. They were good. A little too chocolatey. So I'm hoping that these vanilla ones will be a little milder. And uh, if they're as good as she says, oh no, because I didn't need another snack food in my life. Next, I'm going to go with Beauty. Let me pick this up. Sorry, I'm dropping things. You know how Dollar Tree bags are. Check this one out. You know, ripped all the way down the side. So, we're going to have to do this carefully. I'm going to go with Beauty next. Guess what I finally got? 
This is a happy day, right? Finally got in some new items. Oh no, they were new three or four months ago. But I got some dry shampoo. And I finally get to try it and see whether it's a good or a bad. I've heard both, so I'm going to find out for myself. And let's see, do I have any more beauty items? Yes, I do. I've got a couple of nail polishes in here. Neither one of them are a color. I have a super dry. Supposed to be a quick dry. I've got several of these. I'm going to see how this one does, if it's better than the ones I have. And this one is called a miracle. Mm -hmm. We all need a miracle in our lives. If this can stop my nails from peeling so that I have to keep them cut off this short, it will be a miracle. If not, we're back to artificial nails. Just saying. Not threatening anybody. Nails. Just saying. This is my last beauty item, and I just want to let you know, this is called an updo clip. If you have long, thick hair or short, thick hair that you need to pull up, that you need to pull up while you're chewing it, while you're drying it, whatever you're doing, you need one of these clips in your life. I don't do an updo, as you can see. I don't have hair long enough. This is the greatest clip I've ever seen. This is my second one, and my other one is still in there in the drawer. It still works good. I uh, just wanted to get a backup. These things clip on like nobody's business. As you can see, the red mark, the indention on my finger there where it came off of. You need a clip that really will hold your hair. That's the one you need. Let's see. The next thing I've got, we're going to go to, I guess we're going to go to crafts because I think that's all that's left in here. Not a big craft haul, but it'll be, it'll do. Playing cards. Look at these playing cards. Are those not beautiful? Oh, goodness, I put a glare on them. Let's put them over here. I bought these to put, excuse me, phone call, I don't need. I bought these to put in the back of my pocket letters when I use single-sided paper. Uh, these are so pretty. I thought it would just be easier than cutting up another piece of cardstock to put in there. So that's why I bought those. Kudos to Dollar Tree for having those pretty cards. Because I didn't want just any cards back there. They have to be pretty. Then I got some stickers. I found these. And I know these aren't new. Not new to anyone else. But I never had these. They have the tulips on them. And I love these tulips. They've also got other bulb flowers. I'm not going to try to name them all, but let's just say they're pretty. And I didn't have these stickers, so now I do. And the other set of stickers I got are these. These are new to me. I've seen other people haul them for a while. But, you know, I never had them. And I think they're beautiful. I love them. The lips, the glasses, they're just too cute. So, if you don't have these, you need to get you some. Let me see what else I've got. I've got another item new to me, not to anyone else, the stand-up stapler. Come on now, there you go. I haven't been able to find this, and I finally did, so I got me a pink one. Does it matter that I have another stapler? No, it doesn't. Not when they have a pink one. You can always replace something if you're replacing it with something pink. That's the way it works in my life anyway. Scissors. Can I find any of the pretty jot scissors that everybody else has been hauling? No, but I did find a purple pair, and I needed some new scissors, big scissors, that I can cut fast with, so I got these. Excuse me, I dropped my last item. I've got to have a drink real quick. Hang on for a second. Coffee, coffee, good stuff. Okay, my last item is adorable. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. Don't think I really needed it, but hello. It is the cutest little owl puzzle. 24 pieces. Has a zipper. Um, resealable bottom. How cute is that, right? So... <clears throat> my grandkids will think it's fun to put together in like two or three minutes because they're all old enough to do that now. Uh, even if I don't uh, 
find a crafty way to use it. So that is my Dollar Tree haul today. I just want y'all to know that um, it was good hanging out with you for a few minutes. And um, I'm feeling much better. So, hey, maybe there's going to be another shopping trip in my future. So um, I will uh, catch up with y'all. Miss Kitty wanted to say hi. She just jumped up in my lap. Can you say hi, Miss Kitty? Say hi, Miss Kitty. Yes. She loves to be in my lap, and she loves to be in front of a camera, so what can I say? <laughs> I guess I'll let you guys go, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.